Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. In this particular video, we're going to be taking a look at the FSR feature that has just been enabled on the Steam Deck, which is AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, an upscaling technique that we can use on any game, despite the fact if it uses it or not. This technique isn't new or unique. It is possible with applications like Magpie on Windows to upscale any particular game. In fact, I showed this on the IE Neo Next just yesterday. However, when we take a look at it on the Steam Deck, there are a few reasons why I do recommend using it. This is going to tie in greater with a general how to get better battery life video that I plan on doing for the Steam Deck, but we'll cover some topics here. Right now, you're taking a look at Ghost Runner being output from the Steam Deck directly to my HDMI capture card. If you take a look at the top left, you can see that we're using around 25.5 watts of power. You can see remaining time, which is a new feature on this Mango HUD. You can see it says uh, an hour and eight minutes left, so we have 68 minutes left of battery life remaining. Now, I can show you the Steam UI to enable FSR, and I will show the results of those on other games that don't support FSR, but Ghost Runner does support AMD FSR directly in the game. Now, one of the reasons why this is really nice, when the game supports it directly, it will have the HUD at full resolution and have all the game elements on the background be upscaled only, whereas the system-wide FSR feature will do it across all HUD elements. So if you try to upscale something that is too low resolution and there's text and everything that is in the HUD, that will be affected as well. So it's always nice to have FSR directly available in the game. Now right here, if we take a look, you can see it's running at 1280 by 800 and it's 100% resolution scale. However, if we enable AMD FSR and we look at ultra quality, you can see this went to 77%. Now I want you to take a close look at the battery that says 25 watts up there. I'm gonna apply this setting. We're going to click back. Now again, this is going to be a thing that we talk about later when I start looking at how to improve battery life on the Steam Deck. But watch on the top left as the amount of power to run the game is drastically falling. Now there are other tips and tricks that we can do here to kind of further improve this and I'll go again talk about that at a later time. Right now with regard to FSR I want you to take a look at the quality degradation that has happened. Now image quality will be impacted. We are taking a lower resolution then upscaling that to the base resolution. If we zoom in here we can see very clearly that all text-based elements really start to suffer with FSR types of implementation but anywhere else on the screen image quality is still relatively good and similar to what it was prior. If we go ahead and switch it back you can see that it's all nice and crystal clear. However, we were saving around seven watts of power by having FSR enabled. And when we're playing this on a handheld and it's not blown up on your screen right now, it becomes less obvious to see the image quality degradation. All right, at this point, we're gonna pivot over to two other games I'm allowed to show, both of them being Control and Devil May Cry 5. Both of these games do not offer FSR natively, but because GameScope can force this now, we can do it at a system level. Now, once again, the thing that I would like you to take a look at is the total amount of power that the Steam Deck is using. You can see right here it is 24.1 watt. A few people have asked me now and again if this is the TDP. This is not the TDP. This is the total system power. TDP is 15 watt, which means that the remaining power out of that, around 9 watts or so, is for the LCD, the fan, the RAM, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the controllers, etc., etc. Basically, the rest of system power, right? So that is the total amount of power that is being pulled from the battery at the current time. Now, Control is one of these games that when we lower the resolution that it doesn't really impact image quality all that much. And I really do recommend going down to 540p instead of staying at 800p. Now, because I'm going to export at 1080p, I have rendered the game at 720p so that I can keep a 16 by 9 resolution. Now, this right now is 720p native. What I'm going to show you is 540p native. Now this part can be a little deceptive here because it almost seems like I didn't change anything at all. However, this is indeed 540p. The 540p to 720p upscaling is just really good here. FSR just helps a little bit with some extra sharpening here and there. We'll compare in a moment. The one thing that I want you to take a look at is you can clearly see that FSR is off, but the big difference here is that we're saving nine watts of power. So we gained almost an hour of battery life by going down to 540p. Again, we'll be talking greater in detail about how to improve battery life in its own video, but this is worth pointing out here now. So if I cycle back and forth between these two images, now before I get too far here, I've also uploaded these images to imagesli.com so you can compare and contrast the photos yourself. You can see them in action right here. In the description field below, I'll have a few links to those comparisons. Back to here, we're gonna have to take a close zoomed in look and switch between them. This is gonna be between 720p and 540p native only right now. FSR does indeed help a little bit just with some sharpening here and there just to kind of make the upscaling just a little bit more complete 
and I actually really enjoy playing control at 540p with an FSR strength of 5. It's worth noting here that when you enable FSR on the Steam Deck, it actually defaults to 5 automatically, which is my preferred setting. Now, the one thing that I want to kind of point out here is the reason why I like it is that with all the different settings that we have here, you can just see the 0665 just got a little bit better outlined with FSR 5, and it overall looks more pleasing to my eye. All right, this is going to be the last shot of control. I tried lining up a shot that it shows off a part that is hard to take a low resolution and upscale. So I got some text here and I also got some leaves. We're going to go ahead and zoom in here. Now, it can be generally hard to see anything that's lost here, but if we take a look right here, we can see that there's a loss of detail. And if we take a look at the text itself, there is definitely a loss of definition. Now, one of the reasons why I like FSR 5 is because it doesn't do too much to the image. It's not over sharpening anything. It does find outlines relatively nicely and exemplify them. So overall, I still like FSR 5 as opposed to just straight upscaling. I think it's a small win, but it's not like it's going to do miracles. All right, wrapping up this video, we're going to be taking a look at Devil May Cry 5. Now, this is one game that I don't actually recommend using a lower resolution and then upscaling. It actually runs pretty well and doesn't take a tremendous amount of power. Also, when we go down to 540p, the image quality really does start to get mangled, especially when we take a look at this particular image where the text just gets beat up. But I wanted to highlight this one specific image because when we zoom in and take a look at what FSR 5 does here, you can see how well FSR finds these edges and really highlights them and does a fantastic job with upscaling in this particular instance. So FSR at a system level is really valuable. It is not a silver bullet, but it does have applications where it can improve image quality, especially when we're trying to battle getting better battery life. So it's another tool in the toolbox. It's a really cool feature. I look forward to other people finding out really good instances of using it. Once again, if you want to take a look at some comparison screenshots, I've uploaded them all to Image SLI. Those links are in the description field below. Feel free to go ahead and take a look at them. As always, guys, thank you for your time. And thanks for watching.